Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel Ajax CRUD series where in previous video we have learnt how to add the data into database without the page reload where we saw about this. Okay. So guys, now in this video we are going to fetch the data from our database and while adding the data, the page should not refresh but data will be fetched. So guys, let's get started. So let's move to our Laravel app and over here so guys this was our design so form design where student data is shown at this page so now design a simple table to view the data so first let's create a dummy table table dot table dot table bordered table dot striped table head table row table heading which is id then name a simple email phone and finally one simple course and now guys two things which is for one edit and one is for delete done and table body where we are going to add table row and table data where id and another is name same way you are going to paste for this so b u t t o n button where edit and same thing for delete and now guys let's select this and add a simple class to this where button button primary button small with the name with the type as type type is equal to b u t t o n button and this button name will be edit underscore student so this is for one is for edit and one is for delete button all set and now we are going to store the value that over here v a l u e value is equal to we have to give inside this the value so let's copy and paste for this also set guys and now let's see the output refresh cool so let's just change this danger refresh perfect guys so now let's get back this button spelling is missed out so add b btn button refresh see the output now guys let us get started to fetch the record so let me fetch that over here so let's create a simple function so function name that will be fetch student function open and close and inside this ajax request jq ajax so let's use get method and url will be fetch student students and data we do not require data type will be json so now let's copy this response and check in a console dot log function done and now guys let's to view this you have to call the function outside done let's copy this url guys control c and move back to our web routes and over here create a route using get method where you are going to pass the url comma your controller so let's copy the same above controller that is student controller and paste over here and tell fetch student function let's copy and go to your controller student controller and create a simple function so let me just paste that thing and copy and paste let's rename over here that's it let's call our model so inside a student variable not student students because many data are there where i'm going to call the student model colon colon all function to get all the data where you are going to return and response so response function in json format where inside array you are going to send the students you will mention that as 
this variable students copy and send done guys and this students we are going to copy and console inside this response dot students save and refresh let's inspect go to your console cool so you are getting some array data right just ignore this above things guys so you can see that with prakash om prakash two datas are present in our database that datas are displayed in your console log so now let's take this data and print in our html table let's get back so now let's comment this and use a jq each for for looping it jq eseh each where the response dot student data of your key values and this is your um let's tell item copy this and you have to loop it so where you are going to loop um, let's give open dollar function where single quote t body so this t body is nothing but your table body so this table body you are going to take that and inside that you are going to append some data okay so what data you are going to append i will show you let's cut this control x and paste inside this append function all set and give a single quote at the end and at the beginning done and after this guys you have to just give backslash done guys now you have to call your id over here so let's tell in single quotes plus plus where your item dot id okay where you are going to tell name email phone course and the value you are going to print inside this you are going to take this and just print it inside single quotes print same value you are going to copy and send for this delete button also so that id will be inside this button let's save guys and refresh and check the output okay refresh cool so you can see that data is added so now guys um let's use this function which you are calling after inserting the data after success i want to call this student fetch function okay so that whenever this data is inserted it after success you can load this function okay refresh guys and let's add the student so varun govind where varun at gmail dot com where random digit phone number and add bca and let's save perfect so you can see student added successfully and data also is fetched but it's repeating again and again so for that guys there is one simple solution so you just need to whenever the function loads that time you have to empty this t body so for that let's copy this and paste above your jq and add html function and inside just give double quotes so whenever you are fetching this data first empty the table and then loop the data save and now let's refresh to test it guys so now let's insert the perfect data over here let's tell satish satish at gmail dot com where random digit phone number and bca let's save guys cool student added successfully and your data is also fetched without the page reload okay so guys we have successfully fetched our data without the page reload when we are adding also so guys in this video that's it let's see in next video how to edit and update the data into a bootstrap model so guys thank you once again please subscribe like and share